How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Survival Minecraft 100 Days. That's the wrong way around, but it's sweet. And yeah, they're crafting off a bow quickly, about to go into the nether. Have some real difficulties with the nether this episode. As you can see, build a little protection just in case. A random gas explodes the portal. Trust me, that's happened to me loads. <laughs> yep, just making it so like no other mobs can really walk through it because don't really want mobs coming through. I don't know if pigmen will still spawn, I'm not 100 percent sure on that one, but hopefully not. They don't fall, that's a plus. Go to stand oh this is gonna be a great move. Not Yep. Because that's the first of many deaths, <laughs> as you can see by the second attempt. But yeah, pretty much lost everything that day. Oh, giant slime, nothing really interesting to go mining to be honest. I think I'm going for like some iron. We're all right, kind of running quite low on iron. I got like this little lava area bit. Got me bare symbols. Right, if I ever need to make a redstone farm or a redstone door or anything, I've got enough symbols for it. Definitely. Ooh. Unless I want to do something really, really big, but. Yeah, nothing like that yet. They get through the first 100 days. And we're nearly halfway, we're only 10 days off. So that could be interesting. But yeah, as you can see, they're going around collecting iron. I think I'll just knock this zombie off of your leg. That's great. Right into lava. And we've got some more iron. Win win. Day 33. As you can see, they're pillagers. The creeper. I was totally ready to fight them. Totally. They quickly made a sword. But obviously I lost all my stuff, jumping into that lava. Not my finest move ever, but... I thought I could make it. Simple fact, I thought I could make it. I thought I'd take the risk. As you can see, I do it the right way this time. Oh, it's a the right way? I don't know. I don't know what the best possible way would be. As you can see, it should make it a bit easier for me to travel all around the world. Because right now, one really does like a little identity bit, it's not really worth it. I should really go see what's at that portal well, but I don't think I do go there. I keep travelling, trying to find never fortress, to be honest. Then we can start gathering some materials for the invite. I was going to eventually, but yeah, I have some real, real difficulties in the never. I don't think I was prepared for it at all. Well, I'm just happy we walked away with it. Walked away with what? I'm not too sure. Maybe I think two blade powder for this whole time. If we get two blade powder. As you can see, we're just building a little staircase up to the actual nether fortress. This is so we can actually get in and out as we please. It helps out a lot in this video. So yeah, this is the key. This is the key point. Us getting into it and getting attacked straight away. The common theme of this episode of all getting attacked straight away. I wasn't expecting this. I didn't know the smaller ones could jump so high. But then I realised they can't. They can jump two blocks. What's annoying? Wish I knew that sooner. 
Run away. Yep. This was a great. That tiny glimpse. Oh, so tiny glimpse. Dead. I didn't even realise either because it happened so fast. I had to throw it down myself to just even see it, to be honest. Revenge. I came back to kill the one that killed me, got my stuff back. Hopefully, the same one. I think it would be. It was holding the same block and everything. As you can see, I'm just trying to have this more of a thinking moment for me, trying to figure out what. I'm gonna do with this build. I think I do think it and change it later on in the episode, so it's quite funny, it's quite a challenging build, I say. Especially on the fly. Because it's on a weird uh, weird angle. And obviously we've got one type of chopping wood because that's a staple. And this channel now is a wood chopping montage. Don't know why. I just guess wood can be really quite fun to look at. Even though I only chop down like two trees at a time. I should just really go down and get like bare, but then I'm gonna wait a whole day to chop it down a tree. At least I have bare wood to actually build stuff. Might do that in the next episode actually. I actually got a teaser for what I might build in the next ep uh, at the end of the episode as well, so stay tuned for that. We'll just skip to the end one of the two. And there you go, just adding a bit of DL. Detailing or whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I think I'll change this later on either way. Only a few small things, but I think I like the slightly better for it. Well the slightly different version what coming up. I don't know, it looks a bit weird on certain angles, of course. The diagonal building. They're not the best easiest to build especially in such tiny scale I wouldn't say tiny it's not like we're making a small house but it is quite a small scale maybe an archway actually got rid of that bit of that cleaned it up a bit it looks like so much harder now I think oh I should really count how many, um, oh, what's it called? How many trees in one time did we actually have in the video? To be honest, probably the whole series. I'm thinking about doing like a recap at the end of the season when I reach 100 days. Let's put it all into one episode. Have the best bits. I don't know how they're going to be going through all that footage again. But it'd be worth it. Best the highlights and a couple of cool moments in this episode I like. As well. But as you say, as I said, I think we're changing it all up now. Then we the last couple in. Yeah, like I said, I'd slightly like this one a bit more. Should we look at the nice sunset as well? I decided, yeah, I decided to put the there as well to make it a bit more... i say circular. Even though it's nothing like a circle. Day 36. Oh, this is this is where the polar bear. This is where the annoying polar bear come from. This is, this is a very interesting story with the polar bear. Like this thing wouldn't leave me alone. I I, I don't need to say much what you're seeing either way, but it's a kerfuffle. It was a kerfuffle. I see under decorating the actual corner house. I don't know why. This is just a farm. I need to decorate my own house. But 
still. It's gonna be nice at the end of my house. I ain't really planned it out yet, to be honest. I've kind of just left it on the back burner trying to build more farms so I can actually just get supplied for what I need to actually fight the joke but oh, I tried to push it in and it never didn't work and then I bought with the mission literally this is this is the episode where I'm playing with death I'm on like a subtle tote wave or something Jesus As you can see, yeah, the house is coming on quite nicely. I wish I could have done more with it. But yeah. This is, like, as you can see, the polar bear. Just finishing up the bottom layer of the base, as you can see, it's back there, partying, doing anything. Oh, you go for the attack. He regrets that. Day 37. So, yeah. Like I said, it was a, it was a lovely story of becoming a fight, like nearly getting killed by the polar bear several times. Dance party, ended up keeping the polar bear. Great, it's a great little addition to the base. I'm still heavily debating if I want to string on the roof, though. So, yeah, this was a lovely wood going mission. Just collecting wood. I do like how the leaves actually turn white as well when it's snowing. Small details. What this game does well. And I'm so surprised how much you actually say DL while watching this game. Or playing the game, there's just so many like little things, little net, little wouldn't know. Especially if you like don't know anything about redstone and all that, all the things you can do. But how hard it is to do. It's great to start like, trying to figure out how to solve a puzzle. How to figure out how like water works. To actually transport items or mobs. Or even the player at times. Yeah, I need to go for a proper mining session one time as well. Decay did lovely, but it's impossible to find it. Oh no. That's the worst I thought I nearly died. Oh. But you, you could see there was that zombie with nowhere. Literally nowhere, and it still got me. Still a creeper though. Didn't give me no gunpowder, but. And ta-da! The reason we came down here in the first place, probably for the enchantment table. Oh, this is this is annoying. I d I don't know. It must have been an ender move, but I don't know how that happened. Don't make no sense. And then the spider attacked me, climbed up the wall to actually come to get me. Got myself a piece of gravel. Put some chest there. So we can actually put the lapis there as well. Slowly coming together the base. There's still a lot to do, but it's slowly coming together.
Now we've got an enchantment table, we can start enchanting. We've got villagers, I've probably got to do something with them soon. Get a bit of a look at my shiny armor. Flex off a bit. My one piece of iron armor. And a sword. Another big boy enchantment table, but there's like level one enchantments. We need to 38. Do a bit of farming this day. Some casual farming. Trying to fill up this whole area. I need to try and get some other crops as well. I don't know why I didn't pick up no carrots or anything from the village, but apparently I didn't. I ain't got a carrot drop of a zombie yet. I keep getting iron drops though. I've had bare iron drops. I think I've thrown a lot of them in these episodes as well. But yeah, oh, we're back to fighting. Oh, this is this is dreadful. These are not good moments. I need to play totally different. Why didn't, why didn't I didn't even build a shield? I didn't even have anything. I just went in there. But literally, half a heart. Half a heart, you expect me to go through four different mobs, I think. I was like, no, nah, I don't want you starting if I accidentally hit you. Not you go over there. I'm going to try and find my way through. Tell you one thing. Doesn't end well for me. I think I get bare bones though. Good for me for even more farming, but and you get coal. Oh, I forget you get coal from all the skeletons. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, that happened. And <laughs> it takes me a long time to get that stuff back. I tell you that thing. I tell you that for nothing. Attempt one. Which is attempt two. Oh yeah, I had this. Let's back up. I thought you were safe, one out of nowhere. This one I've got a bit lucky. There was only one skeleton, well, two skeletons. I literally got my stuff and then got out of the level. Put my arm on and run away. I thought I got too, bit, too cocky with the protection one check thread, to be honest. I thought, yeah, I could, I could survive anything. No, no, I need a shield. I still don't get one in this. One of these days we'll get a shield. They would be too powerful. So yeah, a quick brain management session. Everyone loves seeing a bit of farming. Quick little chop. Yeah, and I fit it all the way to the top. I think I only got like six bread. And day 40. Last day. the teaser what I was talking about if any of you still here it's just a little dirt structure 
But what am I going to build there? That's the real question. Try and leave a comment what they think it is. If you get it right, I'll get a, you get a like on your comment. And maybe a comment back, I'm not sure. I don't know what the comment is really. But that is all for it. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.